Hey, welcome to Art2. In today's video, we're taking a look at a massive print-on-demand project that artist 1000, who is also a popular YouTuber, took on to create a custom deck of playing cards. So over the last few weeks, 1000 has been documenting on his channel, making seven videos in total on how he was creating this custom deck of playing cards called the Vivid Kingdom set and uh, taking his viewers on this journey into his creativity and building hype for this project. We wanted to start by saying congratulations to 1000 on hitting his target and surpassing all expectations on this Kickstarter campaign. Way to go 1000. And unlike some of the other print on demand products, uh, playing cards have to be ordered in quantity. So it takes a little bit more effort than creating a design for a t-shirt, but in principle getting orders before product is created is very similar to print on demand. So Peter, best known as 1000, got his project accepted into Kickstarter, which is a crowd sourcing platform, meaning that people will pledge a certain amount of money for the project that you've created. And if you reach your funding goal, then you can go ahead and make the thing that you're telling people that you're going to be creating with their money and send it out to them at some point. In the first hour of launch, I went into place my order for the Vivid Kingdom deck of cards and uh, the project was sitting at a little bit over $100,000, which is amazing in itself for a Kickstarter project. And that uh, the thing is, in less than 24 hours, I went back to check on the amount of money that this project was raising and it was up to $800,000. So in 24 hours or a little bit less than 24 hours, 1000's project had been funded to the tune of $800,000, which is amazing on Kickstarter. I was recording this video today and I checked the latest amount. And as of today, when I'm recording this video, the amount is now at 1.6 million. And I think that before the project ends in uh, October, that it might actually hit $2 million in pledges on Kickstarter, which is not bad at all. So how did he do it? Let's get into the details. So if you haven't heard of Kickstarter, it's a platform that allows people to pledge money towards funding a project. It can be anything from a product such as a watch, gadgets, funding movie, music, whatever the creator is putting out there. If people believe in it, they can pledge a certain amount. And when this project reaches its funding goal, you'll get a copy of maybe the movie or the watch or whatever is being created with your funds. So Kickstarter will release the amount of money to that creator to build this thing. And uh, this is where it gets a little bit interesting with this particular project because unlike most of the print on demand items that we might be used to, we can just print one off and send it out to the customer when we get that order. With decks of cards, it takes a little bit more work because you have to actually create the art for each individual card that goes into the set and you have to send this off to a printing company or a company that manufactures cards and they don't want to have just one of this project they want to have multiple orders for a deck of cards because it takes a bit of effort to print these cards cut them to size package them and all that kind of stuff that goes into creating a deck of cards in this case uh, the funding was necessary in order to get the project off the ground and have the company accept the order and be able to create multiples of this card set. Now, having a Kickstarter project also gives 1000 the information he needs on how many orders he needs to place for these cards. So now he knows he's got over 10,000 decks of cards that he has to fulfill and can send that information over to the card company, work out the logistics and have exactly the amount of cards that he needs printed out to fulfill on this project. So the first part of the playing card project was to actually reach out to card manufacturers that can actually do this. And that was one of the things that 1000 had to go, was find a company that can actually mass produce cards. So in order to get the Vivid Kingdom card project off the ground, Peter had to learn a lot about playing cards. And it's not an easy thing to do because there are so many details that go into playing cards and Peter started to reach out to people in the community that knew more about cards than he did, asked his audience to provide feedback, anything else that was necessary on these playing cards, and then taking it forward and launching the Kickstarter project. So as you can see, if you are a print on demand artist and you build an audience like Peter has with his channel, you can launch projects like this and have more chances of making large amounts of sales than if you have no audience, obviously. So Peter being a YouTuber and having built up a channel with so many viewers and people actually liking him and his work turned into sales when he launched a massive project like this. So as you can see, his Vivid Kingdom playing cards had to stand out from other playing cards. 
A pack of playing cards goes between $2 to $5 in stores, so how do you get people to pay more than $10 for a pack of cards? Well, one was his brand awareness. 1000 has built this large following on YouTube and Instagram, so people are familiar with him. The playing cards also featured his original style, which fans love. The deck of cards has to feel special and that you're part of something big. Documenting the process brought his audience in for the ride. Going through the challenges and the redesigns, by the time the last video was uploaded, you felt you were part of this and you wanted to support one of your favorite creators. That's how I actually felt when I saw that he had completed the project and now was making it available on Kickstarter. I felt that, hey, he's put so much work into this project. I like his work. I'm going to buy a deck of cards and I'm actually going to cherish it because it's something that somebody put a lot of work and effort and passion to make as opposed to some of those other mass produced cards that I can get for two to three dollars at the Walmart or, or Target or wherever but don't have the same appeal to me as this particular deck of cards that had so much care and love put into it to come to fruition. So this could be a $2 million project and a very profitable project for 1000. So we have mentioned in other videos the importance of building this community and growing your audience and it's exactly for this reason. When you build a community, engage with an audience, you also build trust. People are more likely to support your project when they have been along on the journey for a while. If you're creating designs and selling print-on-demand products, you can take some of these lessons learned from 1000 and launch it into your own unique version of a product that will get attention from your followers and fans. So I hope that you got inspired and learned a bit about a different version of print-on-demand using a Kickstarter campaign to crowdsource funds for your project and that it'll give you some ideas of things that you might want to do in the future. Hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, hope you can hit the subscribe button. If you hit the notification bell, you know when the next video goes up. And if you hit the like button, you help us get found in the YouTube algorithm, and other viewers start to see our content based on those likes. So, we'll keep updating you on the 1000 project if we get more updates and it actually goes further than the $2 million that we're assuming it's gonna do. And until the next video, keep uploading, keep creating, and we'll see you next time. Have a great one, guys.